our next release of Mac OS is Mac OS Mojave. Hello guys, KSK here. Today I will show you how to do a boot and install Mac OS 10.14 Mojave beta along the side with High Sierra on any compatible Mac. Let's get started. Recently, Apple unveiled the next version of macOS, which is called macOS 10.14 Mojave. Well, by the time of recording this video, macOS 10.14 Mojave is not mature and available as a beta for developers. So installing macOS Mojave beta on primary partition of Mac will put you in trouble. So I found an easiest way of installing and testing macOS Mojave beta on any compatible device using the dual boot method. Well, what we will do is, unlike installing on the Macintosh HD partition, we will install on a separate volume. So this will create a dual boot so that you can use a both Mac OSs at the same time. So this approach will also protect your High Sierra on all of the data in it. Also, this method will help you first test the latest version of Mac OS beta by installing on a separate volume. Then later you can decide whether you want to install it on the main volume, which is a Macintosh HD when Apple releases the final version of Mac OS Mojave. So are you ready for this? Let's do it. As you can see, this is my MacBook Air running Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra. First, I'm going to quickly check the free space of the available on the disk. Make sure your main container disk is having at least a 30 gigabytes of free space. Then go to the description box down below and click on first link and download the beta utility file. Open the DMG file and install a package file on your Mac. Once it's installed, automatically it will invoke the App Store and will take you to download page of Mojave Beta. Simply click on download and it will start downloading. So once it's done downloading, you can see the file is located inside the applications folder on your system. I recommend it by backing up this application file for future use. Then we need to create a new volume in the disk container to install a Mojave on it. For this, open disk utility. You can go and search on the spotlight. And on the top left, you will see a two buttons with a plus and minus signs on it. Since we are going to add a new volume to the container, just simply click on plus button to add a volume. Name the volume if you want, in this case I will name it as a Mojave Beta. Then click on add to add a new volume. Once it's done, it's better to re restart your Macintosh. Then open the Mac OS Beta file from the Applications folder and run it. Now simply click on install. And now here, click on a show all disks. You will see a new volume we just created. I simply select that volume and install on it. Automatically, it will install the Mojave on this volume, attach any power cable during this process. And yeah, make sure your Mac is connected to internet. It will take a few minutes, sit back and relax. All right, so once it's done, now you can see it will automatically boot into a Mac OS Mojave. Mac OS Mojave brings some of the few changes to the system, like all new dark mode, the APFS file system now compatible with Fusion drives and hard drives, and many other features like stacks and more. If you want to know more about Mac OS Mojave, watch a video of top 8 features of Mojave which is made by my buddy Samir from Extreme Droid. So you can find that link in the description box down below. If you wanted to go back to the High Sierra, simply restart the computer and keep holding the option key to see all of the volumes of the disk. Select a Macintosh HD from here to boot into High Sierra.
So that's it. And this is how you can install and test Mac OS Mojave on a separate volume without disturbing the high Sierra. Also, if you want to remove a Mojave from the disk, simply open the disk utility and select the volume to delete and click on the minus sign on the top left corner to delete the volume. Yeah, so pretty awesome, right? If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. This is your host, KSK, signing off. Bye-bye now.